Hello and welcome to another update video about Cardano, ADA. So yeah, we are still here in a situation which is leaving a lot of room for speculation. Therefore, it's good to get back to basics and to talk about um, what are the relevant support areas. So I have left the count as we had it in the last video, indicating that we can have further upside potential here in a fifth wave, similar to Bitcoin that we might still be in the fourth or that the fourth was already finished here. And this is some kind of a one, two wave here. Yeah. So in both scenarios, as long as the support area is holding here, which is between 29.4 and 23.1 cents, we can focus on higher. There are a few different possibilities here that we could look at. Um, in the end, I don't have really enough clarity what this could be at the moment there's a possibility we are for example um and that's why i want to keep it back to you know simple just to highlight here this support area as long as we're holding that we can focus on higher the short-term price action also still suggests higher prices there is an idea or there is a valid thought that this could still be a fifth wave that in the fifth wave what we're doing here that this in fact might be a wave one to the upside so that we get something like this. Um, one to the upside, then here two down, three up, four down, five up. As long as we're holding that support, that's all fine. For this count, actually, it's important that we're just holding the micro support here at 30.8 cents. And um, yeah, I mean, what could be the micro count? I mean, if I'm looking at this as a wave one and we are in the wave two, then I could possibly think of it as a wave W, a wave X here, and then the Y wave to the downside still to come um, as a correction in a wave two. Yeah. So that, for example, the Y wave is currently unfolding also as an ABC. Again, just some examples here how the micro count could work out. If you say, okay, maybe this was an A wave, then we had here. The thing is, we could possibly get a B wave as a triangle. That's why we also have the triangle shape. So B wave and C wave. Let me change the color here. Um, so that the B wave here really, and for, as you can see, we're making lower highs, we're making higher lows. And eventually that could break down here in the Y wave. Target wise, um, we can use, for example, here the, t the length of the wave W, go to the high of the X wave. And target would be the one to one ratio, the first one that's at 32.7 cents. Second target is too low anyway, it doesn't make sense. So it would need to be the 32.7 cent level, which comes up here as a likely target for the Y wave to finish. I can't really give you a target for the C wave, which would be the same, but you know, and then, then you look at different ways of calculating the target and you come up with the one that makes most sense where you maybe have confluence, but here the B wave really um, is probably not finished yet, but I, we can give it a go. Take the length of the A wave to the high of the B wave possibly. And then we have here the one to one ratio of 32 point, um, basically seven cents. So that's quite good confluence. Here we have a 1.618 extension target at 31 cents that would land in the support box again. So keep those numbers in mind. Mm, that's sort of the count should we break down from here. And in my opinion, valid as soon as we lose the last, the wave a low here at 33.81 cents. Should we break higher and get above this X wave high, that would probably confirm a breakout for me at 36.4 cents. That would be a good view of, you know, we are we are breaking out to the upside here. Um, at least it would be a strong indication that we do in probably a third wave. And then we have to assume that the wave two was already in. Um, even though, well, even though if we say that we have a direct breakout to the upside. It could even be that this is some sort of wave four triangle, to be honest. Yeah, that we had, um, that we are in the wave five and that within the wave five, we haven't even finished wave one. Okay, so that we had here some kind of a, but it, it's not a great structure that we only had three waves up here. This is currently wave four and we will get another wave five to the upside. So that's what I mean. You know, there is not really a lot of clarity here currently, unfortunately. I think it's, for me, I mean, uh, other charts are a bit clearer at the moment. So in terms of the wave count, but then again, you know, we're using basic key support, FIP support. And as long as we're holding that level, um, we can focus on higher. 
So I'm watching if we break this triangle to the downside below that level that I indicated, then we are probably in a wave two of five. If we are breaking higher directly, it would indicate that we are probably still in the wave one um, or even already in the third wave. But that doesn't really matter which one. We will see that by the structure. Point is really that I, you know, the, the wave two lows here will only be unlocked if we break below that low of 33.8 cents. Yeah, and then we need to hold this support. If we break below this support, it would indicate that a more substantial high was in place. So it's unfortunately how we have to play it here with ADA at the moment. Um, certainly further upside potential there. It's currently consolidating on a pretty high level and that indicates usually further upside potential. This, however, doesn't mean that on the bigger time frame the bear market low was already in. We haven't even broken above this wave four high at 44 cents or this wave too high at 60 cents. So there's a long way to go for ADA to confirm that. At the moment, there is still significant downside risk. All we've done so far is a few green candles. Yes, we've broken out of the channel, but it's too early to confirm a bear market low was in. However, um, we need to identify now the trends on the shorter time frame, and eventually, if they build trends on the larger time frame, then eventually we will be able to confirm that the bear market low is in. So it's important to, at the moment, play it level by level because these possible trend reversal areas and I'm not saying we we couldn't have the bear market low already in. Yes, we can. <laughs> yeah, it's possible, um, but I can't confirm it yet. Yeah, so um, that's why it's so important to have risk management in place. Those trend reversal areas and processes, and at the moment we are in one, if it's going to be successful, I don't know. I don't know the future, but it's so important here to be really careful um, because they are the most expensive situations in any um, in any financial market you know and in any in any cycle because nobody knows yet if this reversal is going to work out yes you can assume but typically until a solid trend has been established there's still a big risk of breaking down and a lot of people in these situations go in they leverage up you know they go whatever all in forget about risk management forget about basics and then in the end it can come down again and this is still possible as per this count Okay, and that's my update about ADA. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. If you'd like to support more crypto online, you can also delegate your ADA to our MCO stake pool. We introduced that a couple of months ago and um, obviously we'd still need a little bit more delegation would be good. We have enough to, um, to issue rewards. We're going to increase our pledge further, but further delegations or further support would be appreciated. And then you can also earn passive ADA with your ADA as the pool grows further in the coming weeks and months. If you want to delegate and support more crypto online, you can find the links for that in the video description. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.